All right, this is a trigger snare and it's used for fishing. And all I did was I cut one of the limbs off the willow tree and that's gonna be my spring system. So when the fish comes up and grabs a bait and tries to run off with it, it's gonna pull, it's gonna set the trigger and that's gonna help set the hook. And that's what the spring system is set up for. And you may ask, well, why did you cut a limb off and put it in the ground? Well, you could use a limb that's on the tree, but sometimes the trees aren't always in the best location. Now, how do you make the trigger? This time I did it differently than my last trigger snare that I was using to catch animals on land. And this was a limb, it was growing in this direction, and so it had a branch that came off of it. So I just cut it off, and this is gonna be the bottom portion of the trigger, and I just did the opposite for the other limb. I just took another limb that had a branch coming off of it, and they hook into each other. So that saves me a lot of carving. But you want these to be fairly easy to set off, because it has to be a, you know, in case a small fish comes in, you want it to be able to pull it and set it off. And for the line, for the fishing line, I just used 550 cord. And I didn't need the whole cord, of course, and I didn't want something that large, so I just pulled out the filaments out of the 550 cord, and that's what's tied to it. So you have a line that runs to the spring, that comes down to the trigger, then you have another line that's on the trigger that goes out to your bait. So when a large enough fish comes and grabs it, it sets it off. The advantage of this type of fishing is you can set these up all around the pond if you have enough hooks and go about your day and come back and check them periodically and see if they've been set. But it, it's a pretty good use of your time so that you're not just wasting time on one fishing setup. You have multiple ones set up and hopefully one or two of them will be set off.